Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefined Horizons, and this is the second video in the set of videos that I'm doing today that teach you a little bit about money management at the project level, so kind of project budget management for survey projects or, or other real estate projects. Um, I'd like to do some other videos that teach you a little bit how to manage money across a small business, but we're not going to get into that today. So in the last video, I showed you guys uh, how to add. We added some messages related to contract admin to the message board and attached some important emails. So those are either requests for costs or fee estimates for additional work on, a, on an existing project or approval of additional work. Uh, you want to make sure that you keep track of all that or, um, you know, authorization from the client to move ahead with additional work, whether or not they were provided a cost estimate. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to... Um, we're going to add some of this information on the message board to our contract um, contract uh, contract budget management spreadsheet. So let me pull this over, and pull over my file explorer. So in the PM folder here, I keep this spreadsheet contract project budget management spreadsheet CPBM, and uh, so I'm just going to open that up. So here it is, and I've done some some videos before that talk about the spreadsheet, but just real quick, there's a few tabs. This is just notes and a timeline on uh, items related to contract management. This is kind of a generic, uh, high-level generic overview of the billing. This is, gets into the details of the billing, and we're going to come back and spend some time with this sheet in this video. Uh, this just kind of tracks work complete. What's left gives you an idea of how much trouble you're in. If you've got a bunch of work left, and you're running out of money. This uh, tracks some extra work. And this uh, is anticipated extra work tasks. Uh, probably in this video, we may not get to this billing detail sheet. Probably in this video, we're going to update this notes and timelines tab, the billing tab, and uh, we're going to update this extra work tracker. So let's start here with the notes and billing tab. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just drop this down. And I've got my message board filtered here. So I'm only seeing contract admin messages. And I'm going to basically enter the same information down here in my spreadsheet. And I probably won't do that forever. Um, as, I, as I get uh, more comfortable with Basecamp, I'll probably stop doing that. But not everybody uh, right now in my whole company can get into my Basecamp. It's limited to my team. and um, I'm just going to go ahead and add it, add it to this spreadsheet as well. Um, and we're going to go in chronological order. So you can see I've already have this message from um, 1116. Um, then there's the 1118. I have that in as well. So the first thing we need to enter now is this message from 2019, 1127, November 27th. So this was from Todd Schultz. He's my contact at the client. So he sent me a message. And what was it? It was a additional service fee estimate request. So sometimes they'll ask for scope and a fee. Sometimes they'll just ask for fee. So this time you just wanted a number. So I'm going to give a little detail here. I'm going to say Todd, if I can spell right. Todd sent Landon a request for a uh, fee estimate to get four storm and sewer pipes cleaned and inspected using CCTV. Okay, so that's what happened on the 27th. Then on the 4th, Google approved a purchase order. So again, this is actually from Todd to Chuck. This time, that's the uh, civil engineer I'm working with. And so we're going to say additional services authorization on this one. And so we're going to say Todd sent Chuck the approved purchase order and task order for I want to change that sent Chuck 
approved copies of purchase order three slash task order three. And then I'm just going to make a note, this in parentheses for me, this is survey additional services request one. Okay. So that came over on the fourth. And then I also know on the fourth, Todd emailed me. So he emailed me and authorized me to do some additional work on another lease parcel. So I'm going to say Todd sent Landon a uh, approval and instructions to prepare a land description package for a lease parcel. Uh, I'm going to say in the excess right of way for highway 101 so essentially what i'm doing here guys is i'm just duplicating the information that we added to the message board in the last video and what what you want to be able to do here is you want if i get hit by a bus i want another i want another uh, project manager who picks this project up to be able to come in here and get a sequential idea of what happened from a contract admin billing perspective on the project okay so let's go over and update the billing tab um, so I did go, I did send an invoice. So we're going to add a note here on the invoice. So this was on, uh, so I should have a row in here for every invoice. So this is on uh, December 6th and the contract, this is for ASR 01. That's my contract identifier. So this is for my, the first invoice I sent on my additional approved additional services, the first set of additional services being done on the survey side. Okay, and the type, this is a survey additional services. Okay, and then I want to know, is this uh, contract work, original contract work, or is it additional services, the dollar amount? Okay, and in this case, it's all additional services, and the dollar amount was 99.09. Oh, Okay, and then I'm going to put in my company's invoice number here, 19120882. And the status, this is not yet paid. Okay. And for notes, I'm just going to put first invoice for survey ASR01. Okay, so that's... This is, again, this is kind of high level. When I get in here to billing details, I break this out a little more, and you're going to see that probably in the next video. Okay, so then I'm going to come over here to my extra work tracker uh, because I have done some extra work now, and we want to track that. So what I want to put in here is uh, I want to put two things. So I'm going to go back to my notes here. So right here, Chuck asked me to go ahead and prepare the proposed lease, the primary lease parcels, land description package. Uh, so that was done. Um, that's actually not going to go in the extra work tracker because that was that was under contract. Okay, so what, what I put in here is work that's not in a scope of services. So even if it if it's even if it's additional services, if it's part of an additional service contract amendment with a scope, I don't put it in here. So what I put in here is stuff that didn't have a written scope. Okay, and so I actually just did some of that work. So that's this work here on the 4th. So that's extra work. We want to make sure we get paid for it. And I've got a bucket in my ASR number one, my survey additional services request number one. I've got a bucket for miscellaneous work. So I don't want to just build that bucket and not provide the client with details, right? I want to understand how we spent the money in that bucket because the client's going to want to understand. So uh, the date was requested and approved was the same. That was the fourth, and we got to work on that the next day, the fifth, and this has not yet been invoiced, so I'm going to just put three dashes for now. No, nope, it doesn't like that. Okay, uh, this is not a construction project, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that staking request ID, but I am going to put in my contract ID, so this is ASR01 for me, 
Let's put survey on here because there's going to be civil stuff going on too. Okay. Uh, field crew is not applicable. I do want to know if a crew is out. Uh, this was requested by Todd, not to Todd Schultz at Google. And it was authorized by Todd Schultz at Google. Okay, and this is the really important part, this next column. I mean, this is all important, but what's really important here is that we have a good description of the work that we did. So we're going to say Landon's team prepared a land description package. I'm going to say written description, plat, and closure report for additional I'm going to say four and additional proposed lease parcel to be excess right away of Highway 101. Okay. All right. So, again, what goes in this sheet is uh, work that is not spelled out in a written scope, either a written scope in the original contract or a written scope in a contract amendment. We call those additional services. Um, so if it's just a generic bucket for extra work that we're going to bill the client, we want to keep good notes so the client knows what they were paying for. That's what goes in this sheet. Okay. Now I do have some work that's going to come up, probably some anticipated tasks. So let's go ahead and fill this out. Then I'm going to end the video and we're going to jump in and take care of this billing details tab. So um, I, <clears throat> I have, uh, let's see, I think I'm up to task seven. So this will probably be task eight. And I've got a cost of 28.5. In the description, this is going to be CCTV inspections for four storm and sewer pipes. Yeah, and then task nine, I don't know if I'm going to get yet, and I don't have a fee yet, so I'm just going to enter zero for now because I got to do the fee estimate. But um, additional underground utility mapping requested by Google. Okay, and then I'm going to have task 10. Something else they asked me for is um, work to complete 10 pothole, I'm going to just say utility, pothole excavations at as yet undetermined, undetermined, see if I can spell locations. Okay, and I don't have a price yet for that either. So I'm just trying to keep track here of some extra work that I might have coming up on the project. Okay, and you can see it totals there, and I'll plug some numbers in here at some point. All right, so I'm going to save this video, and then we're going to come back in here, and we're going to dive into this billing detail sheet. I went a little long on that one, guys. Sorry, but I appreciate you watching.